Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. So, um, this should have been a campaign nine video, but the week got away from me. I don't know. It was just one of those weeks. Both the in-laws had doctor's appointments, um, several doctor's appointments. Uh, Thursday was Keith's birthday, but we were busy with doctor's appointments all day. Um, so we celebrated it yesterday and it just, the week got away from me. Um, so I do apologize for that, but I thought I would just show you guys the things I purchased in campaign nine and then I'll just kind of let you know what's going on with campaign nine. I'm sorry, the things I purchased in campaign eight and then the things that what's going on with campaign nine. Um, so that you can at least know that it's up and running and get a feel for the campaign. It's very gloomy out today and raining and dark. Um, so it, this side of my face looks like it's in shadow to me. I can see the shadow on my screen and everything in the corner of my desk here or my bookshelf. I don't know what's going on. Anyways, well, wonky week. See my video about the epiphany on my channel. <laughs> right? Right? So I'm going to show you what I have on my face that's Avon today. I don't have as much as I usually do, but I still have quite a bit. Um... As usual, I have my True Color Cream Concealer in um, the color fa Nude? Fair? You would think I would know this by now. Oh my goodness. It's fair. Uh, and then I have on the new contouring stick, I have the light shade, so I have that on. Um, yeah, I don't know if you can tell because of the lighting. Then I have on um, the blush in Classic Aura. Very neutral, nice blush. Goes with everything. I really, really like it. Oops, and I shut my shirt in it. That's not good. <laughs> I hope I didn't make a little hole. I probably would because it's a brand new shirt and that's what I do. Um, and then I have on, now my eyeshadow is not Avon today. It's actually um, a different brand, Huda, Huda, Huda Beauty. It's the, from their Desert, Desert Dusk palette. I got it. Um, I had a birthday gift card to use at Sephora and um, it's so beautiful. And I, I don't want to say I'm obsessed with it because that's like a negative thing in my opinion, but I've been enjoying it quite a bit. And so I'm still using it every day. I just love it. It's, it's gorgeous. And I will show that in a Sephora haul, hopefully coming up, but I do have on the black and green liner. Like I always do my tried and true glimmer stick. Uh, then I have on the glimmer stick brow in the light Brown. And I do have some, um, eyeshadow mixed in with that just to kind of fill in my patchy places. Um, my mascara is the Wide Awake Mascara that I usually use. And the lip color, one good thing about this being in this location, I can pull my glasses out of my desk drawer and look stuff up for you guys so I can see what the name of it is. Um, Rose. You'd think I'd be able to look the name up, right? It's got a stamp across it. Rose Bouquet, maybe? It's one of those hydrating ones, the little skinny ones. It's really pretty. It's not as deep as it looks, and I did blot it, but it's really, really, I don't know. It's really pretty. I really, really like it. And I love the way these lipsticks smell. They smell like candy. They're so, they're sweet, but it's not like super strong. So I'm going to take those glasses off for now. So that's what I have on. Now I had a tissue over here. So I don't, excuse me while I grab another one here. Um, I want to get lipstick on my stuff. So uh, like I said, campaign nine has already started. And this is one of the things I ordered with my campaign eight order that is actually debuting in campaign nine. And it's this boss lady t-shirt. Really, really cute because um, campaign nine is the Mother's Day debut of all the Mother's Day products. So it's available for the mom and then they had the little pink one that says mini boss i thought that was super super cute but hey boss lady's perfect for me right so <laughs> so i got it um it's short sleeved it's got this little uh cuff on the sleeve and it's like that i mean you don't have to cover it yourself it's sewn like that i got a one x and it's pretty baggy if i would have known how baggy it is i don't know if you're going to be able to tell when i stand up um it's really really baggy um, if I would have known it was this baggy, I would have probably got an extra large, but um, it's okay. No big deal. You know, who doesn't like an oversized comfy t-shirt to wear, right? 
Um, but I'm going to show you what I picked up with my uh, Campaign 8 order also. So I grabbed from the outlet two of these, um, uh, what are they called exactly? Pink Velvet Cupcake Shower Gels. I grabbed two of those. And um, somebody told me that they smell like pink sugar. And I really love pink sugar perfume. It's one of my favorites. Let me get my scissors here and see if I can pry open a corner and see if it really does smell like the... Uh, actually, hold on. Let me grab this instead. As usual, I'm ill-prepared. Trying to pry it because it's got the little seal. So I'm... I'm just Twitterpated and discombobulated today. Like, this week has caught up on me. And uh, while I'm thinking of it, that reminds me that um, I'm going to be gone. I'm going to, my mom is going to come here and have Easter with us. And then um, I'm going to her house um, and stay with her for a few days. So I won't be back until probably Wednesday. So there won't be any content to me till the end of next week, just so you know. Okay, so I got it open. It smells good. It smells sweet. Like, it does smell like a cupcake. And I can see what it does kind of smell like pink sugar. So, cool beans. So, I got two of those. I think they were $2.49, I believe, in the outlet. So, I ordered two of them. Okay. And then in the What's New, they had had glimmer sticks um, on sale for the reps for $1.49 if you were in President's Club, I believe. So I ordered two. I got my Cosmic Brown, which I'm not going to open because I've currently got one open and you guys know I wear it all the time. But the other one I picked up was just the black. It's the um, blackest black. It's not the waterproof. I've never used it before, so I thought I would give it a shot. So let's. I thought we'd do a little swatch and see how dark it really is, you know. We'll just see. It's so gloomy in my in my room here. That's pretty dense, you know. That's that's pretty dark. Impressive, most impressive. That's my Darth Vader impersonation. What do you think about that? <laughs> yeah, this is like here I go off on another thing. So it was Keith's birthday, so I had ordered him um, Star Wars Battlefront Two from Walmart.com. For his birthday for the xbox one because he has the first one and he really loves it so it came wouldn't play the music would come on but the game wouldn't play and then um but it had these codes that you put in to get the extra content well he had put the ex the codes in when he first downloaded the game right but then the game wouldn't play so we took it back i exchanged it at our local walmart brought it home it played but the codes wouldn't go through because they said he already had them from putting them in the first time, which he didn't because they, it was messed up. So I was like, this sucks. When you spend 80 bucks on somebody's birthday gift or whatever, well actually on Walmart, and this is another thing, on Walmart.com it was $39.98, but at Walmart it was $79.88. $79 I don't know why it was such a big difference for the exact same thing. Anyways, but if I was somebody that bought, paid the $80, I'd expect it to work. So anyways, he had to get on like live chat with EA uh, Sports or whatever, whoever makes the game, and then then they uh, went in his account and fixed it for him. And then they gave him extra, I don't know, lightsaber stuff <laughs> for his trouble, which ended up being really cool. So, but it's just been one of those weeks, one of those weeks. Okay, so anyways, as usual, I digress. So this is the blackest black, really, really nice and dense. I'm excited to use that. I'll probably use it tomorrow. Um, I also picked up two gel nail polishes. Remember, I told you guys I was going to um, start kind of switching over to those because I think they last a lot longer. Like, I noticed a big difference in them. And uh, so I started doing that. Um, what I have on today is old. It's Maybelline something or other. But um, this, so I've got two today. I picked up this green one. It's called Clover. And I thought it would be really pretty as a spring shade. When I get on my thumb eyeliner or something, it's not dirty, just so you know. So this is Clover, and it's cream. It doesn't have um, any sparkle in it. And then the other one I picked up was cream also. It's kind of weird because I used to be all, all about the sparkle, but now I kind of like, you know, the cream stuff. 
And this one is called, let's see if I have to put my glasses on, Rainwashed. And this is just like a, um, like a very pale baby blue. So I thought those two would be really cute for, uh, for spring. And I'll probably pick up a few more as I go along. I won't probably, I will. Um, Avon sent me this, um, a while back they had an incentive, it was a sales incentive called Shake Up Your Sales, and you had to like, uh, um, sell more than you did last year at this time, and I qualified for several levels of the incentive. I didn't get everything, but I qualified for several of the levels. And the first level was, um, you got a free pair of earbuds from Aspira. So they sent those with me. I also get an apron and a tote bag and something else, I think. I can't remember, but those don't come until later on. So these are, these are really nice. It's a really nice set of earbuds. It comes in a, it has like a plastic case for them. It's got a clip here so you can, you know, it's got a, they have a volume um, thing for your Bluetooth or whatever, all that stuff. So cool. You know, I'm excited about those. And then the last thing I have is not from the campaign. Um, a while back at holiday time, they had a black and white purse. Avon did a gingham purse. And I liked it, but I didn't think much about it. Well, um, now gingham is really in for spring. And I went back to see, I'm like, does anybody know if this purse is still available? I decided I wanted it sold out. Um, been sold out for quite a while. Well, I have a fairy godmother, an Avon fairy godmother, who saw me asking if this purse was still available and she had one so she made it happen so that i could have one so it's i got this um you might remember it was back from um christmas time but it's so adorable i love it and the red rose is removable it's just like a charm you can take that off so i'll probably take that off because it's spring and i'll put something else on there and it also has a long strap that can go over your shoulder that's over I don't have it attached right now, but really, really cute. I'm very, very happy to have it. I'm thrilled. So thank you. Thank you much, Alicia. I appreciate it a lot. I appreciate it tons and tons. So um, that's what I picked up for campaign eight. So let me grab um, campaign nine again and show you. It is currently up and running. Looks like this. And it's the Mother's Day issue. There's lots of super good stuff in it. I mean, super cute. Like, again, Avon has outdone themselves. And I, um, I'll be doing a campaign 10 video and this, these things will still be available. I hope for the most part, um, in campaign 10 and we'll go over everything, but just, they have so much cute stuff. Um, really, really, um, modern, you know what I mean? Like these t-shirts, this one says, um, best shopper, nurse, warrior, ruler, mom. I think that's really cute. And then they got like the pink one with the coffee cup that says mom fuel on it. I just think Avon is finally in a place and those t-shirts are not expensive. They're $14.99 and then the little girl's mini boss tee is $9.99. So they're just in a place where they're really finally getting in touch I think with you know their competitors like Ulta, Sephora, you know, more on trend things. So they've got their regular um, sets that they sell like perfume and, and stuff like that. But the packaging is a little bit more updated. You know, it's just a little bit more trendier, edgier, um, just lots and lots of good stuff in this. Um, two sets of um, glaze wares, ones with sparkles one like like a pinks and the other ones are nudes and then they have this the lots of kisses which again gives you 60 of the lipstick bullet samples very very nice and that one is limited edition um here are some senses and skin so soft sets with this packaging that's so cute again reminds me of kate spade I, the pastel colors with the black and white stripes so kate spade i love that i just i don't know i'm I really feel this way. I'm not just, and I always say this, blowing smoke up your butt. <laughs> I'm not, though. I mean, I really feel this way. Um, again, with this cute packaging, floral, and the stripes, very reminiscent of Kate Spade. It's just really, really nice. Here's a skincare set, um, the pouch. Too young to have kids this age. And you get the um, vitamin C serum, and what's the other one? 
the a new ultimate uh, day cream with SPF 25 in it. Um, here's another a set of pajamas. It's like the t-shirt and shorts together and they also have slippers separately but the t-shirt says hold on gotta grab my glasses again <laughs> the t-shirt says best friend doctor nurse warrior maid ruler ATM driver juggler shopper pillow alarm clock worst texter best mom super cute and then there's a sleep deprived skin set too. Look how cute that packaging is. So cute. And so that has the um, the clinical eye lift duo system and the clinical overnight hydration mask. Um, here are some bags, like a duffel makeup bag, travel bag, and they're in the Avon, Avon favorites. I love this carry all tote but I don't need it but they've got like lipsticks and nail polish and skincare on them but they're just so cute I told I wasn't gonna go through the whole thing I don't want this video to be super super duper long these socks adorable $5.99 for mom she's got her feet up get it yourself <laughs> so cute you know coffee cup candle petty set just lots and lots of good, good, good stuff. Some jewelry. Let me see if there's anything else I gotta show you. Oh. It's Keith. Sorry, I gotta take it. Hello? Nothing. I called because. Are you still in the store? Did Journey leave? She. That's okay. She just wanted some um, Miracle Whip. I thought we had some, and I looked all over. All I find is the Hellman's and the real mayonnaise from Kraft. But. Okay. Well, it's not really. I mean, I can use um, Hellman's on the deviled eggs. It's just your dad had some cheese and crackers, and he wanted some salad dressing with his crackers. So she was looking for it and couldn't find any. And I said, well, I told her, I said, well, maybe you used it up the other day when she made all those eggs you know I don't know okay okay yes I'm filming a video as we speak so everyone gets to hear our conversation <laughs> that's okay yay you're the best husband ever all right I'll see you in a little bit I love you bye bye Sorry about that. <laughs> you know me, no editing, real life. This is how it goes. Um, his mom wanted some uh, Miracle Whip and we just had real mayonnaise. Uh, and she's, you know, like you've, you've seen my videos before, you know, she has dementia and it kind of stressed her that she couldn't find the Miracle Whip, you know, when she thought we had some. But she had made a batch of um, egg salad and stuff last week and I think she used it all then. But we still had Hellman's, which is what I prefer anyways. Anyhow, but he did say he found me two pounds of cranberry walnut relish. I didn't know if they'd have any out at the store because that's a Thanksgiving thing and I love it. I said, well, this Easter, they might have it. And they did. So, yeah, that's my favorite. Anyways, <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry, guys. Um, But, yeah, just all kinds of good stuff in here. You know, I know I don't have time to go over all the, the things. Candle set on page 31 and then some new sets also of the candles or some new scents not sets scents of the candles um you know just good stuff this is a really good issue and then also um what's i going to show you the a box for this time is really really nice you get remember it's only ten dollars with the forty dollar purchase and you get um an eyeshadow palette you get one of the eight and one in nude muse and that is an excellent palette I should have brought it with me to show you guys but you've seen it before I've used it on my channel like lots and lots of times so you get the wash off waterproof mascara the nude muse eight and one uh, the glimmer stick in the black uh, oh let's see in the blackest black the one I just showed you and swatched and then uh, a sample of the power serum 
So these are all products that I have and that I really, really like. So this would be a wonderful A box to get. The value on that is really, really, really good. So remember that's $10 with the $40 purchase. So I'll put the dates in the description bar below for Campaign 9. They've changed the way we do things. Okay, so Avon used to be, we all would put in our orders at different times. And then, um, like we were in what they called an RPS, it was like a schedule. I was in RPS 4. So in various areas of the country, you would put your orders in at different times. It kind of was unfair because people that were in the earlier, and there was 10 RPSs, the people that were in the earliest RPSs got first dibs on everything. So if you were in RPS 9 or 10 and there was a really nice item and it sold out super fast, you were out of luck, you know, for your customers. Well, it was kind of crappy. Well, now we have flexible ordering, and this is the very first campaign. Campaign 9 is the very first campaign that we're doing the flexible ordering. So everything is, um, we all put in our orders, basically our the order dates are the same for everybody. Um, the campaign dates is what I should say are the same for everybody. So I wasn't sure how that would affect the e-store dates, you know, because they were always a little bit different, but I'll put the dates in the description bar below. And if I find out that they're incorrect, I will go back in and edit and fix them and everything. So this video was all over the place. I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> very chatty, very off topic, very haphazard. That's the way it is. But um, I hope everybody has a blessed Easter weekend. If you do not celebrate Easter, if you celebrate Passover or whatever it is that you do, I hope you have a blessed, blessed um, holiday. And also, um, like I said, I will be at my mom's um, from Sunday night until probably Wednesday. So you're not going to see any more content from me until next weekend. Um, but I, I'm thinking about vlogging from her house. I know I've said before, that I would vlog. I'm not very good at editing, which I think you know this. So whenever I vlogged and I try to edit them and like clip hook the clips together, it always looks like one of those Asian martial arts movies where the mouths don't match the words. So it's like, oh, it's lovely out here. You know, <laughs> you know what I mean? It just doesn't, it doesn't ever match. I don't know. That's me wonky, but thank you guys so much for, um, taking the time to watch this crazy mixed up video. I really, really appreciate it. And, um, I will see you in the next video, hopefully next weekend before next weekend, hopefully. <laughs> All right, you guys see you later.